All right, Xbox fans, here it is, the Xbox One X. Long-awaited 4K system, They're right here in front of us, and we've heard all the details about this from Microsoft has some time to play some games on it even. So, the question is, is this a system that you're either going to want to use to replace your Xbox One that you already have, or if you can see on the sideline, maybe you got a PS4, PS4 Pro, you're thinking, should I get on this? Well, that might be the time. Let's take a look. Now, Microsoft came out and said that the new Xbox One X is the smallest Xbox ever, which was a pretty interesting thing to hear them say, considering how much they just talked about its performance. Now, that is true. If you can look at the Xbox One X very closely next to the Xbox One S, yes, it is, in fact, smaller, mainly in the height of the, the system. It uh, looks like maybe about an inch uh, shorter. Uh, in the overall dimensions, though, the depth and the width, there's really not so much of a difference there as you might expect, at least, you know, from the whole smaller thing. It's, it's really about the same size as the Xbox One S. Now, in terms of looks, the Xbox One X is also, again, very similar to the Xbox One S. Yes, it is black now instead of white, but the overall aesthetic is definitely in the same vein. There's very hard edges. Uh, there are some little dots that some of them serve as the, uh, the vents for the fans, and they kind of look like pixels which gives it a very appropriate uh, uh, look if you, you're paying close attention to the console. If you're not paying close attention to the console, you know, it really kind of just blends in. Um, there's not a lot to attract attention to it, especially now that it is a uh, black color instead of white. So enough about how the console looks. What about the games? How do they look? Well, that really depends on the television you have. If you have a 4K HDR television, they are going to look amazing. We got the C, uh, Forza Motorsport 7, Gears of War 4, and Minecraft, the latter two with the Xbox One X graphical updates on that sort of setup in a nice home theater room with Dolby Atmos sound. And that was just an incredible experience. Probably the most attractive gaming experience that we've ever seen, and that includes high-end PC games. All those elements come together extremely well to create an experience that looks like exactly what the game developers and the, the game artist wanted you to see. Now, if you are on a 1080p television uh, that doesn't have HDR, that's going to be a little bit of a different story. You're not going to get everything that you can out of the system. We also saw some less impressive televisions playing games on Xbox One X dev kits. And in those cases, you can see more of the world. You can see more objects in the world. You can see better textures, sometimes uh, some better lighting. There's going to be super sampling in 1080p games so that everything looks a little bit more refined. But still, for $500, it's probably not worth it if you have a 1080p display. Now, what about the PlayStation 4 Pro? Well, the PlayStation 4 Pro is a bit slower than the Xbox One X, uh, about 30% on the compute side. So that means, generally speaking, you're probably gonna get a little bit more detail out of the Xbox experience. Of course, it does still come down to the game. Some people like the PlayStation exclusives, some people like what's on Xbox. A little bit of power difference isn't gonna change your mind there. But if you are on the fence, that added boost in performance can definitely give the Xbox One X the edge. Just again, make sure that you have the television that this console wants you to have.